Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to bring our next act up. Uh, he's a veteran of the Toronto comedy scene, and uh, you're going to like him. Very funny cat. Please put your hands together for Ernie Vincente. <laughs> Some uh, white people here. Is that right? I, uh, I actually used to date a, a white girl in the summer. Thank you. I was uh, I was living the dream. It's my, my dad's dream. And, uh, <laughs> it only lasted one month. It was a short dream, but uh, here's the thing. Thank you. Here's the thing, uh, her parents are very rich, right? And I, I don't even have to tell you she was rich because I said she, uh, she was white. And, uh, <laughs> it, comes, it comes with the color. And uh, she had a yacht. She had a very, very nice yacht. If you guys don't know what a yacht is, it's a... It's a fancy boat. With cheeses, multiple cheeses, very nice. But the yacht was in Barrie, so like every every weekend I would drive her and her her white parents to uh, to Barrie. But looking looking like me driving uh, three white people, taxi cabs would honk because they would assume I'm an Uber driver. Which is why I, I would charge them, for sure. Um, you guys do Uber? Yeah? I actually am an Uber driver, so... <laughs> so if anyone needs a ride, just let me know. Just let me finish my beers in the back there, and then... Uh, get out of here. Imagine you walk to my car, and then I'm like, uh, I think you should drive. <laughs> it's weird, people say don't drive high, you know what I mean? Don't smoke weed and drive. Anyone smoke weed? Make some noise? Yeah, yeah people say don't, don't smoke weed and drive, but like, I think I drive better high. You know, like I'm more cautious and more aware, right? Way more paranoid. Yeah. Last time I drove high, last night, I... Um, <laughs> I was so high that I stopped at a stop sign and I waited there for half an hour. I was like, is it, is it safe? Um, the, guy, the guy in the back seat was like, um... Am I paying for this, or...? <laughs> Goddamn Asian drivers? I don't even know... I don't know if this guy is Asian. What the fuck? What the fuck is that? Some kind of Mexican, or...? One guy was like, I don't have uh, the Uber app, so can I pay you in cocaine? <laughs> I was like, yeah, of course. I don't <laughs> What, a loser? <laughs> you know, this guy gave me so much cocaine and when I dropped him off at Dufford Mall, uh, <laughs> one, girl, one girl was like, I don't have the Uber app either, so can I pee in, in sex? I was like, well... <laughs> So you don't have cocaine? Uh, <laughs> you're going to Duffer Mall. Huh? Uh, I used to date a 50 year old uh, woman by accident. Yeah, yeah. No, because she was Asian, right? You know? 
Yeah, we're, we're flawless, right? Uh, <laughs> but she was very dishonest about her age. Like, the way I found out she was 50 years old was uh, one time I was going through a purse, and um, <laughs> I saw her license. I was like, whoa, 50 years old. That's crazy. But I didn't, I didn't break up with her because she's older, you know, because she's very beautiful and she's very rich. That's what I was going through her purse, right? But we started dating a lot of that we, uh, we started making love, you know? Meaning we started, yeah. Meaning we started having sex without uh, condoms, and uh, that's what love is, right? <laughs> you know, but then she called me up, she's like, hey man, I think I'm pregnant. And I was like, whoa, hey man, I think you have the wrong number. I didn't even know that 50 year olds could get pregnant. Right? Yeah, I'm, I'm Catholic. I don't believe in science. I have no idea. <laughs> well, luckily, she wasn't, uh, she wasn't pregnant. She was just bloated. She, uh, you know, she went to a buffet and. Uh, But you should always wear a condom, kids, you know? Because imagine this 50 year old gave me a disease. Oh, that'd be weird. Imagine she gave me a disease that's older than me. Oh. That's fucked. Imagine she gave me Alzheimer's or some shit. Oh. She'd be like, hey, did you cheat on me last night? I mean, I don't know. <laughs> I, I forgot. <laughs> oh, that's why I date, I date younger, uh, younger girls now. I was, I was dating this girl, 19 years old. Right? To totally illegal. Right? I, I googled it. And, uh, <laughs> one, time, one time we were in bed, right? We were naked and stuff, right? But I, I kept my shirt on because I'm a gentleman. And, uh, <laughs> I asked her, uh, how many guys uh, have you had sex with? And this is what the 19 year old said. She's like, I don't know, 15? I was like, what? That's a lot of dudes. You know, like, I don't even know if I had sex 15 times. <laughs> 15 different people? What the fuck? I was going crazy. And she was like, hey, calm down, calm down. You, uh, you misheard me. I said 15. Not 50. I was like, no, I... I, uh, I heard you the first time. Uh, and uh, you might have Alzheimer's. So. <laughs> oh, yeah. You guys take uh, Viagra? Oh yeah, tampons gross, but whatever. <laughs> I take a I take a nice uh, Viagra, you know, from time to time. And uh, if you guys haven't tried it, basically each pill of Viagra you get four hours of uh, sexual machinery. It's the best, you know. But here's the thing, kids. If you guys want to try Viagra, make sure you're gonna have sex with a person. I made that mistake one time. <laughs> oh. I was on this first date, we're at, the, we're at this bar on the, on the Danforth, and uh, things were going really well, right? We started kissing each other on the lips in the bar. Good sign. <laughs> and I thought for sure we are gonna have sex because she let me touch her, her boobies, <laughs> right? I'm also 12 years old, so. <laughs> She's like, hey, let's get out of here. Oh yeah, let's go, let's go. So I popped the pill, get in my car, I'm like, all right. By the time I get to her house, it'd be nice and warmed up, right? When we get to her house on Broadview, 
And then she turns to me, she's like, uh, well, had a great time. Well, uh, I'll call you tomorrow. And I'm like, no, 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 no. We have to have sex for, for, for at least four hours. But you can't say that, right, on a first date, you know? So she escapes, and uh, <laughs> but I'm still stuck with this four-hour born. You know, now I feel like a babysitter. All right, like, what do you want to do, buddy? <laughs> well, you want to watch a movie? <laughs> but here's the thing, I was wearing these, these tight jeans, right? I want, want to impress her, right? So when the boner comes, it hurts. You know what I mean? Like it's touching the zipper anyway, right? So what I had to do is I had to undo my pants. Oh yeah. And take my dick out. So I have to drive home with this dick <laughs> staring at my face. <laughs> it's the worst. Oh, yeah. It's so uncomfortable. You know what I mean? Touching the steering wheel. <laughs> oh. Especially because uh, the guy in the back seat was like, ah. Oh. <laughs> Am I paying for that too? Or? Okay, you guys wait, wait, thank you very much. Right, so so thank you.